This message right here is for everybody. In today's word, we are going to reveal the secrets of the virtuous woman. I guarantee you that you never heard this message taught like this before. You ready, fam? Let's go. Shabbat Shalom, fam. It's your brother, Jaden Israel. Welcome to the Shabbat Word. First off, I'd like to give all praises, all glory, all kavod to the Most High Yah. Kavod is the Hebrew word for honor, for splendor, and for glory. To the children of Yisrael, here in the United States, in the Caribbean, in the Americas, in Africa, scattered throughout the four corners of the world, and to all who love Yehoah. Let us bless our King by saying together, Baruch Ata Yehoah, Baruch Ata Yehoah. Baruch is the Hebrew word for blessed, blessed be. Ata is the Hebrew word for you, referring to the Creator. And Yehoah is the name of our Creator. Before we get into the message, let us gather in Tefillah, which is prayer. Since this is YouTube, we can pray together. Let's gather in Tefillah. Yehoah. Eloheinu, Elohe Avotenu, Elohe Yisrael. Yehoah, our God, the God of our ancestors, the God of Israel. Yehoah, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. All praises to you, Yah. We lift up your holy name. We trust you. We thank you. We bow down to you. We fear you. We love you. All praises to you, Yah, for you are king over all kings. You are ruler over all rulers. All praises to you, Yah. For you are our protector. You are our provider. And you are our healer. All glory to you, Yah. We are thankful for this Shabbat day. We thank you, Yehoah, for food, for clothing, for shelter, and for abundance. We thank you, Yah, for the blood of your son, Yahushua HaMashiach. That through his blood, we have life, we have power, we have salvation. Yehoah, we call on you. We call on your presence. We call on your Ruach HaKodesh, your Holy Spirit, to dwell upon us. May your Ruach HaKodesh dwell in our minds, our hearts, and our souls. We pray that we open up our ears, that we listen to your word, and that we take action with your word. All glory to you, Yah. Vashem Yahusha HaMashiach, in the name of Yahusha. We pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Now, family, we are in for a treat. In today's message, we are going to reveal secrets of the virtuous woman. The title of today's message, Virtuous Secrets Reveal. Now, family, on screen, we have Proverbs chapter 31, the words of King Lemuel. Hallelujah, praise Yah. The words of King Lemuel, an oracle that his mother taught him. Praise Yah. This divine message, this oracle taught by King Lemuel's mother is considered to be a poem. Due to his figurative language and wordplay. This poem right here, family, it ain't just any old poem. It's an acrostic poem. Acrostic poem, what you mean, Jake? Well, starting down at verse 10, let's drop down to verse 10, family. The first letter of Proverbs 31.10 starts with the first letter of the Hebrew al alphabet, Aleph. The second letter, Beit. And the third letter, Gemel. And so on and so on until we get to the last verse, 31, which ends with a Tau. So in other words, 
King Lemuel's mother, the queen mother, gave her son the game from A to Z. That's right, family. From Aleph to Tau. From the first letter to the last letter. That's a secret revealed right here. Virtuous secrets revealed. Glory, glory. Now, fam, let's pick it up on verse 10. The woman who fears Yehoah. Verse 10. An excellent wife. Who can find? She is far more precious than jewels. And when we go to the tools family, we look at Bibles of the translations, say rubies, rubies, KJV, NKJV, NLT, rubies, rubies also in the NIV, jewels, and so on and so on. Some translations say pearls. And when we click on that word, let's click on it, family, because we do our due diligence. We Hebrew Israelites, we all about our study. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Right here, family. Jewels. A precious stone. Perhaps corals, rubies, jewels. Probably a pearl. Probably a pearl. A round ruby. Praise Yah. All right, all right, y'all. Let's get back to it. All right, fam. Let's go. The heart of her husband trusts in her. And he will have no lack of gain. In other words, he's straight. He good. He good, good. Let's go, fam. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. Now flax, what is that? All right, well family, let's check it out. Let's find out what flax, what, what's that? Flax. All right, let's check it out family. Let's read a little bit. It is cultivated as a food and fiber crop in regions of the world with temperate climates. Textiles made from flax are known in English as linen and are traditionally used for bed sheets, underclothes, and table linen. It's oils. It's oil. It's known as linseed oil. In addition to referring to the plant, the word flax may refer to the unspun fibers of the flax plant. So wool and flax, as we see in verse 13, is used to make clothing. Is used to make Textiles. Praise Yah. Verse 14. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. She knows how to acquire goods from distant places. She know about that commerce. Let's go, family. She rises while it is yet night. It provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. Verse 15 reveals that the virtuous woman gets up early in the morning. She provides for her household, takes care of her house, her family, and she takes care of those who help her out. And today, a woman, a virtuous woman who has a business, she makes sure that she provides for her employees, that they're well taken care of. For the virtuous woman, don't do it all by herself. For she's about diligence, responsibility, and delegation. That's right, family. Praise Yah. Virtuous secrets reveal. Verse 16. She considers a field and buys it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Let's read that again. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. The virtuous woman 
is a investor. That's right. We have to have investments, family. Let's invest in real estate, in businesses, in stocks, in bonds, commodities, crypto. Family, let's invest like the virtuous woman. All glory to Yah. She dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. Now let's check out herself. Got a footnote right here, family. That's why I like the ESV. The ESV has footnotes. It says she girds her loins. Now let's look into that word. Let's go to the tools. It's right here. It translates as yourself. Let's check out the strongs. Mathanaim. What's a mathanaim? Loins, hips. From an unused root, meaning to be slender properly, the waist or small of the back. Only in plural of loins. Verse 17 says that the virtuous woman is prepared and that she is strong. Praise Yah. Verse 18. Let's go, family. She perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out at night. In other words, from the book of Jaden, she about her paper. <laughs> That's right, family. She about that profit because she knows that it benefits the family. It blesses the family. Her lamp does not go out at night. In other words, the virtuous woman is willing to work overtime to put in them late night hours to get the task done. Woo! Praise Yah! She puts her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle. Now family, let's go ahead and check out this right here, spindle. Let me go ahead and show you a diagram. Right here. This is a good photo right here. Right here. Spinning with a suspended spindle below and a distaff above. All glory to Yah. In other words, family, in this verse, the virtuous woman was not using a brother machine. Come on now. For, as we see in this diagram, this takes effort. I don't care who you are. Man, woman, child, this is hard work right here. Eventually your arm is going to get tired. Just looking at this photo, I'm getting to work out. They didn't have brother machines. And I don't know what it's like to work with a distaff and a spindle, but I know a little something, something about sewing on some fringes. Let me show y'all, family. It's a shirt that I designed. Just want to show you. I know a little, little, little bit about sewing on some fringes now. Y'all know I'm a guy, I'm a man. That don't mean that we can't sew on some fringes. Come on now. My wife can't do everything. I got to be able to do some things on my own now. Praise Yah. All glory to Yah. Let's, let's continue, family. Where we leave off? Right here. Verse 20. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She takes care of her people. She gives back to the community. This is a lesson for all of us. She opens her hands to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is about charity. 
She is about blessing those who are in need. This is a lesson for all of us. Virtuous secrets reveal. Verse 21. She is not afraid of snow for her household. For all her household are clothed in scarlet. Let's check out that footnote. Or double thickness. In other words, family, she ain't scared. She ain't worried. She ain't concerned about the weather conditions, about the circumstances, about the challenges. She gonna make sure that her family, that her household are taken care of. So she is ready. She is prepared to provide for her household, no matter what the conditions may be. Whatever the challenge may be, she rises to that challenge and she conquers that challenge. Woo! Praise Yah. And it says, clothed in scarlet. Scarlet was a red or purple expensive dye. Scarlet is associated with wealth. Family, not only through any challenge, she takes care of her family. She makes sure that they look good. She makes sure that they fly. Praise Yah. She made sure that they got that drip. For they clothed in scarlet. All praises to Yah. Verse 22. She make bed coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Now family, fine linen, it ain't cheap. It is a valuable commodity. For fine linen was used for clothing and for bed sheets. And purple. Purple, that word purple in, he in Hebrew, let's check it out. It's Ardagaman. 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 Ardagaman represents prosperity. Let me say that again. Ardagaman represents prosperity. Praise Yah. All glory to Yah. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. For her husband ain't at home playing video games and watching sports all day. He about his business too. For she ain't married to no scrub. You say scrub? That's right. She ain't married to no lame one. For her husband is known in the community, in the gates. And he is well respected. So not only is she a real woman, that she's a real one, but she is married to a real man, to a real one. Virtuous secrets reveal. Praise Yah. Verse 24. Let's go, fam. She makes linen garments and sells them. She delivers sashes to the merchant. Now, sashes. It's like a belt that can be worn around the shoulder or around the waist. It is a band that is worn around the waist or the shoulder. For Gucci ain't got nothing on sashes made by a virtuous woman. Praise Yah. Let's go. Strength and dignity are her clothing. And she laughs at the time to come. So she is mentally strong and physically strong and dignity. She is about honor. So she wears strength and honor and she laughs at the time to come. In other words, she confident. She straight. She good because she trusts in the most Hi, yeah. Verse 26. She opens her mouth with wisdom. 
and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. The virtuous woman is a skillful speaker. She knows how to properly communicate. To communicate with respect and with kindness. All glory, all glory to Yah. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. She is looking after her household. She is paying close attention to her household, to her family, and making sure that everybody is taken care of. And she ain't lazy. She ain't at home watching daytime TV all day. All glory. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also. And he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears Jehovah is to be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. Family, at this time, we are going to reveal secret gems of Proverbs 31. Now, family, there is a secret gem right here in this verse, verse 26. Let's get it, fam. Let me go ahead and read the Hebrew first. Piha, patha, vechokma, we thorah, chesed, al le shonah. She opens her mouth, her mouth, she opens with wisdom. Right here, this is the word for wisdom in Hebrew, chokma, which also means skill. Wisdom means skill. And we also see the word Torah, 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 where we get the word law, instructions, teaching, Torah, the Torah of kindness upon her tongue, tongue of her, her tongue. The virtuous woman, here goes a secret right here, right here, here's a secret gem. The virtuous woman is the figurative personification of wisdom. Wisdom that is found in Proverbs chapter 8. For the virtuous woman is the personification, the figurative personification, the expression of wisdom found in Proverbs 8. Woo! Praise Yah! All glory to Yah! Virtuous secrets reveal. Let me, sip, let me get a sip of water on that one. Praise Yah! Praise Yah! The virtuous woman is the figurative personification the representation of wisdom. All glory to Yah. Let's unpack this other gem, family. Verse 20. The, the, the gem is right here. In verse 28, verse 30, and verse 31. What do these three verses have in common? You're ready, family. You ready? You ready for this, Jim? The virtuous woman is praised three times. Nah, Jay, you tripping, Jay. Nah, you tripping. Am I? Are we? Let's look into the Hebrew. Let's double check. 
Let's see if the translators got it right. Let's, let's check it out, family. Let's go. Let's go. Verse 28, right here. Let me just highlight it. Why? Hala. Does that sound familiar, family? Right here. Right there, family. And he praises her. Right here at 30. I'm showing and proving, family. I'm showing and proving. No magic tricks here. Fifth, halal. Right here, family. Pray, sh shall be praised. Halal, right here. This is what we highlight right here. And what's fascinating about hit halal is that it is in the hit payel stem. It is in the hit payel verb stem. In other words, the action is being done to herself. But a woman who fears Jehovah is to be praised. And right here, family. That's why learning Hebrew is important. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. Right here. We halu ha. Right here. And let praises her. These three verses have the Hebrew word, the verb stem, halal, right here. Let me show you, family. This is gems right here. This is free game, family. Free game. Halal. Which means to praise, to make bright, to shine. To shine. To praise, boast, be boastful. And halal, hey, lamet, lamet. And these three verses are in the PL form, which means to praise, to boast, to make a boast. So the secret is right here. The same way that we say, hallelujah, that verb stem is the same verb stem that is used in verse 28, 30, and 31. For hallelujah, and verse 28, 30, and 31, all have the same word, halal, and the same verb stem, which is the PL verb stem. What's the PL verb stem? What is that? That means that this action is active and it's intensive. This is to praise, to extremely Praise. Praise Yah. Virtuous secrets reveal. Now, virtuous, let's get a definition. What's virtuous? What does that mean? We say virtuous woman a lot. It's translated that way a lot. But what is it? What does it mean? All right, family, let's, let's tap in. Virtuous from the Britannica Dictionary. Adjective, morally good, having or showing virtue. A virtuous man, woman, virtuous behavior, conduct. There you go. There you have it. Virtuous. Now, let's look into the word virtuous in Hebrew. Let's go, family. For right here is another gem. Another one. Let's go, fam. Let's get it. It says an excellent wife. In some translations, it says a virtuous wife, a virtuous woman. But let's look into the Hebrew because we know that Hebrew is the original language. It's our language that we're returning back to. It's the language that Yah gave us. So therefore, we're going to do our due diligence and look into the Hebrew. What's virtuous? What does that mean? Let's open up the interlinear. It's right here, family, right here. This is woman of virtuous. Virtuous. A chef chayu. A chef chayu. Now let's look into that word chayu, because this is the word that's used for virtuous. Chayu, chayu in Hebrew means strength, might, efficiency, wealth, Army.
strength, efficiency, wealth, army. So in other words, virtuous is a weak translation. Hey, you can call me crazy all you want, family. I'm just doing my best to do research. Let's all research and double check me. Double check your boy, your brother Jaden. It's right here, family. For Chayil, it doesn't just mean virtuous. It can mean virtuous, but it means much more than that. Right here, family. Probably a force, whether of men, means, or other resources. An army, wealth, virtue, valor, strength. So, going back to the virtuous woman, this verse should be translated a woman of valor, a woman of strength. So family, now that we know that Chayil, which is translated as virtuous, also means strength, might, efficiency, wealth, army, valor, And we know for a fact that the Israelites, our ancestors, were African, they were melanated, they were black. The virtuous woman can be translated like this. Here's a secret gem, right? Cheer. For the virtuous woman can be translated the Eshet Chayil can be translated as a strong black woman. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. All glory to Yah. If you don't believe me, if you're looking at me like I got a tinfoil hat on, which this kufi is not made of tinfoil, please believe it. Go ahead and double check and do your study. Double check your boy. But the Eshet Chayil, the woman of valor, the virtuous woman, can be translated as a strong black woman. A strong black woman who loves Yah. Praise Yah. All glory to Yah. For it says in verse Let's drop down. Let's get it. Let's say it again, family. Let's read it again. For it says, charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears Jehovah is to be praised. All glory to Yah. All glory to Yah. But I got one more gem to reveal one more secret. You ready, fam? Are you ready? Let's go. So family, I made this discovery. And when I made this discovery, family, I basically dropped, I, I dropped out of my seat. I was, I was shocked. Your boy was shocked when I made this discovery. Let me show you. Family, this blew my mind. Let me show you. Gematria, which is the numerical value. Gematria is where you take the Hebrew letters, you add them up, you do the math, you do the math, and you get a numerical value. Eshet Chayil, woman of valor. Aleph, Shin, Tau, Chet, Yod, Lamet. When you do the math, when you do the math, fam, you get 1, 300, 400, 8, 10, 30, which adds up to 749. How oh, big deal, Jay? Who cares? Fam. Fam. 749 is the same numerical value. 
ass. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeshua Hamashiach. Woo! Praise Yah. Yo, Shin, Wow, Iron, Hey, Mim, Shin, Yo, Hate. Ten, three hundred, six, seventy, five, forty, three hundred, ten, eight. Adds up to seven, forty, nine. Not only is the virtuous woman, this acrostic poem was written from Aleph to Tau, from the first letter to the last letter. We know that Yahusha Hamashiach is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega, the Aleph and the Tau. The Ancient Chayil is the figurative reflection, the figurative expression of Yeshua HaMashiach. Virtuous secrets revealed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Yah, praise Yah. All glory, all kibbutz, all honor to Yah. Praise Yah. All glory to Yah. All glory to Yah. At this time, family, let's close with a benediction. Let's turn to Bami Bar. Numbers chapter 6, verse 22. Or you, or you can follow with your boy Jayden on screen. Let me get a sip of water, fam. Let that marinate. Look at the screen, family. Double check your brother. Do the math. Do the math, I call it. That means sister. Do the math, I, which means brother. Do the math. 749. The Eshet Chayil, woman of valor, is the same numerical value as Yeshua Hamashiach. 749. Praise Yah. All oh, glory to Yah. Praise Yah. The priestly blessing, the benediction, biblical Hebrew pronunciation and translation in English and Hebrew. The blessing of the children of Yisrael. Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 through 27. I made this PDF, family. It's free. It's free to download. So just go down to that description box and download the free priestly blessing. That way we can read our beautiful and powerful language together. Hallelujah. So as you download that, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up, family, so that we can close. With the benediction. All right, family. The blessing of the children of Yisrael. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Wadabel Yeho El Moshe Lemor. Dabel El Aharon Wa El Bena Lemor. Call Tebreku Et Bene Yisrael Amor Lahim. And Yeho spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto Aharon and unto his son, saying, On this wise you shall bless the children of Yisrael. You shall say unto them, Yevareka Yehoah wa Yishmareka, Ya Ed Yehoah Pana Aleka wa Hunika, Yesa Yehoah Pana Aleka wa Yasin Leka. Shalom. May Yehoah bless thee and keep thee. May Yehoah make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May Yehoah lift up his countenance upon thee and may he give thee peace. Hallelujah. Family, that concludes today's Shabbat word. Make sure that you continue to praise, to honor, and worship our great king. Make sure that you get some rest, family. Rest up and enjoy the Shabbat day. Please be sure to like, to share, to subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm Jaden Israel. Until next time, Shabbat Shalom, fam.